hello guys welcome to solving solutions on one channel where i get solutions to all the solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to create um, profiles from um, your digital elevation model using them um, actually right good so we are going to use what um, the the 3d um, analyst tool and then we are also going to show you how to get them um, contours from it and then also um possibly export it now first thing um, we have reprojected our raster to um, a projected crs i think that was the last video before this one you can see now that what the raster is in what um, a projected um, coordinate reference system utm zone 33 right good now the next thing is for us to assess what the 3d analyst tool so if you don't have it on your own um, access you come down to customize you come down to extensions and then you ensure that um, 3d analyst is um, checked under what extensions right good then you close it out you right click and then you also select what 3d analyst right good so if you see that you've seen that um, it's out if we now try to put it on again you see that it's on right good so now on the tool we have what our data set which is what the raster underscore utm underscore ss right good now that's the raster now it is from this raster that we want to create what the profile so the first thing now you can see different options we're also going to create a contour anyway create contour create a um, steep line path um, create line of sight interpolate points interpolate line then interpolate polygon down right now what we need is actually what interpolate line so it is from this line that we have interpolated that we are going to what get what the profile now i'm trying to take it along this water body because based on the symbology this place is about um it's um, supposed to be lower right good even from what the color ramp we have here and then this is actually i this place is i let me also move down to okay i don't want to cross it so let me still move down to this point right good so you know your um your line can just be a straight line i have actually made it this um random and much because i want it to cover different points so that we can have um, a better understanding of the undulation right good so i haven't done that you double click to set it up there good so um you can actually select this line to see the properties of the line right good i want to change the color to something like um should i use red then we increase the width to two apply and then okay so okay i was supposed to see some other properties now that's the symbology we can also see the length now if you look at this drop down you're going to see that the length is actually measured in kilometers right good now this was because we have reprojected our digital elevation model to what a projected crs you can see other units here and um, which um, you would likely use not them um, the decimal degrees and then these are the coordinates of the start point and the end point which can help you or get what the length right good now the size and the position so the symbol the length size and position of this um, line are some of the properties that um, you can actually check so let's just apply and click on okay so having done that we can now come to what um seeing the profile graph right so we click on that good the profile graph has been plotted now this um, graph shows um how the line the line the interpolation line that we have actually drawn the um the configuration of what that interpolation line remember we started from somewhere around here going up down to this point that's why you can see that these points are a bit low but when we now moved up to this early point you see that the elevation is high from the the graph here then you now see that we still came down to this um, water body that's why it's a bit low then we now came down to let's say came up because it's actually high we went up to this other high um, elevation and you can now see that what the point is a bit high right good and if you look closely the concentration or the saturation right good of the brown color here is higher than this point which likely shows that what this point is actually what very high right good now these are some things that um, these are some insights yeah these are some interpretations that you can actually get from this graph using what the digital elevation model that um, we have or maybe that you have we can also work on um, 
modifying what we can see on our um, profile graph right good so the appearance is here then the series are here right good now the title we can change it to good the title we can change it to let's say ss them profile right good so let's call it them um, ss them profile right good then the footer we can decide to leave it the way it is or maybe we just um give it a different name right good now for the left and the right axis remember that this um, left axis shows us what the um, the elevation right good so for the left axis we can just say um, elevation in meters right then um, for the bottom which is actually showing us what the distance we can also say we have um, distance distance in meters right good let's apply you now see that we have what elevation in meters and we have what distance in meters right good and then we also have what ss them profile so these are some things that um, you can actually do with what the appearance right good so you can also create what graph in 3d view if you want to to see how this um, configuration would appear in 3d view right good so i haven't done all of this remember we said we are also going to get them um, to export this data which we are going to do very soon and we also told you that we are going to get contours from it now from this same tool you can see create contour right it creates contours or iso lines for particular locations on the surface layer you select so if we click on this and then we click on any part of the dem you can now see that by extension the contours are being generated right good good we have some contours there You see we have some contours there right good so these are some contours that um, you can also use to maybe help in what is the presentation of your data right good so if you want to export this maybe to okay let's still come back to the graph good so um select the line and then we have what the graph here i think um since um we have um, clicked on the line again those edits that we had earlier had been what had been removed so you can do the edits as we have told you um come down to properties under appearance you can change the title if you want to leave the footer then you come down to the left axis that's the axis properties you give it what them um, the depth or let's say elevation in meters then you come down to the bottom you have what them um, the the distance in meters right you apply and you click on ok so before we leave let's now show you how to export so you right click on the graph and then you click on export so let's say we want to export it as what a uh, jpeg so if you want to leave it as default as it is or maybe as png prefer png if you want to leave it as default as it is maybe just check him um, some other native data and the rest of that but let's leave it as a picture png so we click on save right good so let's call this um ss profile right so procession from them good so this is how it appears so simply right good good so we are back to adjust so we have successfully shown you how to create what um profile graph from your digital elevation model we have shown you how to reproject from um, um geographic to projected on a separate video and then we have also shown you how to draw insights from what the the profile that um, has been generated and you know subsequently exporting it so thanks for coming to class we hope to see you on the next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time Bye.